Thank you, Chairman. I want to thank the uh, chairs and ranking members of this uh, committee for having a joint subcommittee hearing. Uh, since SVB's failure, our committee has been laser focused on getting complete information and helping to prevent similar bank failures from occurring in the future. And there are two main points that stand out from the uh, postmortem reports, and that is bank mismanagement and supervisory failures. Uh, Mr. Becker, while I agree with you that the Fed and Treasury Department missed the mark by describing inflation as a transitory risk, I am surprised that you decided to drop most of the interest rate hedges by mid-2022. And this is after the Fed started to increase rates in March 2022. In SVB, by then we already know, we had uh, 31 open supervisory findings and did not have a chief risk officer for most of last year in 2022. So, Mr. Becker, yesterday you also mentioned that the specific decisions about hedges were executed by the Treasury team. But as CEO, didn't you have the final say on the decision that was executed by SVB's uh, Treasury team? Uh, Congresswoman, the decision on the hedges, I was not privy to. They didn't, wouldn't have come to me for approval. You know, the Wall Street Journal reported you did you reduced hedges to $563 million. That is down from $15.3 billion just a year earlier. Congresswoman, as I mentioned, I was a part of the Asset Liability Committee, and I have every reason to believe they made the best decisions they could with the information they had at that time. Well, do you believe, then, not having a CRO played a role in the decision to drop the hedges? To the best of my knowledge, I don't believe so. Well, Mr. Becker, in early 2023, March of 2023, you sold your available for sale securities at a $1.8 billion loss. You didn't have an immediate need for liquidity, and this sale had a negative impact on your regulatory capital, so why did you make that decision? Congresswoman, that decision was, was made in consultation with our board of directors and outside advisors, and we believe that was the best decision for our clients and for our shareholders. Those securities were sold to Goldman Sachs, the same investment banking firm that was advising and underwriting your capital raise. So didn't this seem like a conflict of interest? And how did you ensure that you received the best possible price for those securities? Congresswoman, Goldman Sachs was our advisor on our capital raise, and the decision to uh, ultimately sell the AFS portfolio to Goldman Sachs was a decision that was reviewed with the board of directors and the special committee of the board. Um, to my memory, they put in place a structure that would be a, a benefit such that it was to get the best price we could and then validate that in the market. Okay, well, we're going to move on. Mr. Ruffler, let me ask you a question. Uh, the unprecedented speed of withdrawals in the digital era is pushing our committee to rethink the rules, regulations, and the role of the Fed as the lender of last resort. And it's been reported that your firm was one of the banks that used both the 13-3 facility and discount window. Uh, did these lenders of last resort meet your liquidity needs in March? And in your view, what could have been improved? Oh, thank you for the question, Congresswoman. Yes, on um, beginning on March 10th, we began to engage with the Federal, Home, Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco and also the Federal Home Loan Bank. Uh, we had previously pledged collateral with both of those institutions that we could borrow from. And during the weekend, when the, the contagion spread to us on that Friday, uh, we continued to prepare that weekend and actually, uh, the Federal Reserve Bank worked with us to ensure our collateral uh, was pledged and we could appropriately access it. And that Monday, uh, we accessed it with no, no challenge. Well, thank you. I'm going to come back to you, Mr. Becker. Um, so how many years did you serve on the Board of Directors at San Francisco Fed? I believe it was roughly four, a little more than four years. So as a... Board of Director, did you at any point have any input on the supervisory activities of the San Francisco and any financial institutions, including SVB? I did not. Well, 
could you walk us through the role that you do as a board of director at the uh, San Francisco Fed? The gentlelady's time has expired, and um, the witness can submit an answer in writing to that question.